And we're back again with another episode of the Grappling Dash Podcast with our favorite person in the world, <laughs> Morgan. Morgan. Hi. 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 <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> 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 so, she's already tried to ruin this podcast three or four times. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> we haven't been sitting here for half an hour trying to get going. Just happy. like it's the first time she's listened to herself in headphones or something. <laughs> it's a little creepy, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> or is that just us? Yeah. Uh, well, a little bubble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had all these questions ready and now they're just not pertinent. Yeah, these questions? <laughs> just, just. I have to answer things? I thought I was just going to think. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe happily. <laughs> so we have the creepy ginger at the end of the table. <laughs> I have your soul. Just to let you know. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> you may have a back. It's in oh. my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't like listening to Paul and I laugh, you're fucked. And yeah, this is not the show for you. Mom, no. Mom, I don't think you can listen to this show. <laughs> Please shut it off now. It's going to be dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you can hear her freaking whisper. Uh, yeah, she's got a great whisper. Yep. She gets right up on that mic, though. Like yeah, she, she does. Yeah. Practice. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, so uh, let's explain who Morgan is. We, Mor- it's that, uh, that what do you call a coiler, that average black belt? Oh, you had to bring that up right away, like the first thing. Well, I don't want yeah. people to miss it. Wait, you have to wait, know who she is. Coiler who? I'm sorry. <laughs> right, it's Coiler so- Gracie, CoilerGracie.com if you want to look him up. I've never, I've never heard of that one. I heard he's pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, you know, if he was that good, would he really have to get good at wrist locks? Let's be honest. Oh, <laughs> dude, that, your arm's gonna break. <laughs> so, Ball has no more wrists. No, uh, so apparently, he wants to dig a hole and not have hands to get the uh, fuck back right. out of it. So, my, my my first question, Morgan. So, what was it like the first time you surpassed Croyler Gracely at skill? <laughs> <laughs> In tubing, awesome. <laughs> Annihilated him tubing, but other uh, than that, nice. nothing. Uh, <laughs> He's carried on full conversations uh, without even looking at me or uh, engaging his arm all, at all <laughs> in his guard, and I couldn't do it. Is that because it. you didn't want to embarrass him? You're so nice. Yeah. <laughs> you're, I think, I, I'm, a, you know, I'm selfless. I think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, th- yeah. I don't want an average white belt to feel bad about himself. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so. You know, he's worked really hard. So. <laughs> He's got this name to upheld, uphold, <laughs> upheld, <laughs> upheld. Sure, he's got words. Oh, sure, such. <laughs> he's, he's holding shit above his head. I guess it's pretty fucking cool. That's what he does. So, yeah. Curly, what do you do in your daytime? I hold shit up <laughs> and I teach jujitsu. It's kind of awesome. Yeah, fun. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Well uh, Morgan is a blue belt with like seventy five stripes. Yeah. Um, She's at least a twelve stripe blue belt. No. And has the most four. Just four guys. Just four times. That's because that's all I'll give you. So what, how it goes is you need to <laughs> yeah. you need to get tested here. Like yeah. like we don't just oh, give god. belts willy nilly. We gotta get tested. So she's got like four belts t- you know, ten years ago. Or four stripes ten years ago. <laughs> four belts. And she's, you just wear all four of them bitches. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I, do. I don't have time I to do. take the test, so I'm gonna be a blue belt. <laughs> For life. <Yeah. laughs> For life, life. It brings my, out my eyes, so I'm just going to stick with it. It's my it's, favorite color. It's my favorite color. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, we have something in common. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, good times. So, uh, how did you hear about jujitsu? Yeah. Yeah, look, a real question. <laughs> I got one. Eh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a really kind of creepy story how I hell <laughs> yes <laughs> hell yes poor Chad I'm sorry I, I thought the whole it was world CrossFit. needs to know about your creepiness <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, uh, he was already on people know oh so yeah. people know who he is yeah they, they know his creep level is <laughs> quite high um no <laughs> <laughs> I uh, was doing boxing for a while and I liked that but I was, you know, punching stuff. I wanted to do more than just punch them in the face. <laughs> I wanted to annihilate them. <laughs> I wanted to dominate them. So, so breaking their face was not enough, is no. what you're saying. I want to break everything and then steal their soul. That's the main goal in my life. <laughs> She's a ginger. It's what they do, people. I have if I just yours. break, They're all mine. <laughs> if I just break their nose, they can still drive home. If I rip their arms off, then they can't even drive themselves. And then home. when they die, I have their soul. <laughs> <laughs> so it works out for me. Uh, no, I was doing boxing classes and I was looking for something else because the guy that ran it was kind of a turd. 
There's a few of those out there. Hell, you say. <laughs> Pretty sure she just called me that, like, you know, le- okay, he no a, less than 100 times. He was a turd bucket. So oh, oh, I'm good. Crap yeah, yeah. I'm good. With crap. I'm, only, I'm, just, I'm just a polished turd. <laughs> yeah, you're shiny at least. <laughs> <laughs> Got that going for you. Okay, he was a turd bucket. Go. Uh, and I looked around for something different, and Chad was the only place that offered classes in the middle of the day. I was working third shift at the time. Uh, I came in on a Saturday, and it was during, like, a summer festival thing, so it was just Chad at the gym, and it was our old gym, our really creepy yeah. gym. Nice. <laughs> like, <laughs> questionable kind of place. Cause the you, one on Division and <laughs> Hall, that one. Yeah. There was, like, no... It's a good area. I went by it three or four times, because there was, like, no signs, and it took me forever to figure it out. And I walk in, it was just Chad, who's like, oh, hey, you know, Chad, yeah, a new student, yeah, I'll show you some stuff, all right, let's get out on the mats. I'm like, uh, okay, <laughs> you're scaring me. <laughs> and the first thing he does is he lays down, and he, like, thumps his chest like a grill, and he goes, mount me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know, thank you. <laughs> no, no, thank what you. exactly does that mean, and why are you thumping your chest? <laughs> So uh, I finally mounted him like a horse is how he described it. Yeah. Oh, okay. So he made it better. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Not creepy at all. So no. one, a guy alone in a room uh, says he does yeah. jiu-jitsu classes. Wearing, wearing pajamas. Telling me to mount him. Please, so please totally sit on my chest. normal situation. <laughs> <laughs> totally typical. I come across this all the time. So. It's uh, like going to work. It's fine. Exactly. Oh, God. But he, uh, he showed me a standard trap and roll and fucking... Pretty much blew my mind. mind I was like, blown. shut the fuck up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> really? <laughs> and I pretty much was addicted ever since, and she has not been able to not, like, get, to get me to not come. <laughs> <laughs> so, so. Wait a second. That reword. <laughs> you should say that one more time. Re-word. But slow. <laughs> I love how you kind of caught yourself and kept stuttering through saying and the same shit. <laughs> damn it. <laughs> but I've been addicted pretty much ever since. And nice. Yeah, Chad's a big part of that. And even though our, how it started was kind of creepy. Like, you know, is this some creepy guy off Craigslist just like trying to get girls right. to come to mount not me? even a gym. <laughs> some fetish. <laughs> I like when girls mount me. I started this gym so I can get mounted. We're going to teach you some guard. Uh, lay down and spread your legs. I'm going to saddle up right in between those things. <laughs> and I'm going to try passing them. You hold on for dear life. <laughs> Good luck. Many have failed. Just letting you know. Right now. <laughs> right. God. Oh, we're horrible people. It comes naturally. Uh, it really does. <laughs> it really, <laughs> really does. So you tell each other, like, I wanted to go to Triumph, but you you had classes available and I could do it, so lucky you, you I win. I had no idea what I was walking into. Jiu-Jitsu, I didn't even know what it was. My first seminar, I met Croiler, and I didn't even know the significance of Croiler. <laughs> <laughs> like, you still don't. <laughs> no. <laughs> I said no. I love you, Croiler. You're my best friend. I love my wrist, too. Don't <laughs> so I rode with him the first time, and... Uh, He's trying to get me to roll. I had no idea what I was doing. I was like a month into it. I was like, why does this guy want me to land? I don't understand. It's like, put pressure on me. I'm, I thought I was. <laughs> That's the worst one when you're started. Give pressure. You're like, what the fuck I'm does that mean? I'm Can I give laying. you a test right now? <laughs> 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 Please stop asking. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Define that. <laughs> Please. Pressure. I'm going to audit your taxes. Is that pressure? <laughs> like, what are you looking for here, sir? <laughs> is it intellectual? Because I can't do that. <laughs> so how do you go from not knowing what jujitsu is to I'm going to sign up for jujitsu? Uh, pretty much that first creepy experience with you. <laughs> right, you're like, this so is So you're me. sold on weird creepy guys <laughs> asking you to mom. Oh, now I understand thing. why you're married to Ben. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Kind of my thing. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was kind of mind-blowing, just the fact that here's a you know, big guy on top of me choking me, and I could easily sweep him, and I never thought that reality was even possible. And when the realization hit me that I could be strong without having to have big muscles. It was like, really? Shut the fuck up? Mm. Like, where has it been my whole life? <laughs> There's so many people I could have hurt. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But it was just, uh, I was in a bad place in life, and it helped me, you know, Get build my self-confidence. Nice. Exactly. Empowered me. I am woman. Hear me roar. <laughs> <laughs> but was, I don't even know how to react to that from yeah, her. I, I got nothing. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> 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 more accurate <laughs> so I, I have a question um it's it's kind of personal oh, God. um how, oh my God. <laughs> I forgot my question <laughs> and it worked perfectly <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey guys Morgan didn't answer any questions 
No shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's just made me noises the whole time. Ah, oh, <laughs> didn't notice. <laughs> These headphones are so fun. So how 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 do you is it, does is it, <laughs> how does it feel to beat up? Every boy in the school. <laughs> One, I do not beat up every boy in the school. She's I like, lying. I like to pretend that I do, but um, I can't get you off of me. <laughs> like she gets in mind, I'm like, yeah. No one can get me off. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, it's a real issue. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, this it's is called like don't the even sucker know. fish. Okay? <laughs> oh, she broke it out. <laughs> It oh. latches on and it never lets go. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, I'm not better than everyone at the school. I, I didn't just, say better. I said beat up. Well, isn't that kind of better if you beat him <laughs> up? No. Uh, I just train a lot. I'm kind of crazy. I come... Uh, I train every day <laughs> for at least two or three hours. And after a while, people that just come once or twice a week, obviously, I'm going to know more than they do just because of the time I put in, so... I don't beat up everybody. They beat me up plenty, like no, Chad. No. Chad likes to pretend he's not good, but he <laughs> annihilates everyone. What did, and he smiles while he does it. Yeah, that's right, Chad. We noticed. Yeah, we see that you. smirk. We're going to wipe it off your face one day, I tell you. <laughs> and he, it, don't mention that smirk. He's very sensitive. <laughs> he loves smiling. <laughs> he's, he's threatened me with physical violence. Don't you tell me how to live my life. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chad. Yeah, you're shit. the best. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> I only love you for the abuse. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we were talking, we were talking before the show that, that, that before you got here, Kip, that when we started, I could I could kind of roll okay with her, but because she goes to his class three times more than I do, <laughs> it's just, she's leaving me in the dust. It's bullshit. She's doing stuff. I'm like, I don't know what's going on. I feel safe. Nope, I I'm getting choked either. out. <laughs> it's totally pretending. <laughs> Fake it till you make it, bitches. <laughs> this is the wrist lock. No, it's not. Then it's an arm lock. Look at that. <laughs> Ta-da, magic. It's what I do. You're really good at faking it, Morgan. <laughs> Congratulations. Professional faker. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Ben. That sucks for you. The yeah, first thing Morgan says, this is, you're not going to be creepy, are you? <laughs> Who started the creepiness? <laughs> know, <right? laughs> Who's the person this meowing This is normal into the conversation, okay? Oh, it is, actually. If this is considered creepy, well, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, I guess I'm creepy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess well. <laughs> well, <laughs> shit. <laughs> so, what's it like to be in a, a male-dominated sport with a bunch of douches that just want to be, I'm so strong, look how tough I am. Like, what's a, I have my toots. <laughs> Let me use them. <laughs> I, weigh, I weigh 50 more pounds than I can squash you. I Yay. win. <laughs> I actually like it, to be honest. Um, I'm sure some of you are aware we had a all-state wrestler come in not too long ago, and he went a million miles an hour and tried to annihilate everybody, but it was the first time I realized that uh, I could annihilate somebody because he just wouldn't put himself. <laughs> Here, you want a triangle? Let me just... Oh, just he, was, <laughs> he was the king of like, here's the triangle, put my head in it. <laughs> oh, you want an arm out here? Here's my arm. But it was a good realization of what real strength is. It's not necessarily muscles that right. you can be strong without having to have like, ah, go Hulk smash everything. You can be strong just by using the technique and quite frankly it's more reality if i have some big guy trying to tackle me down that's what i would face in real life not saying i just train for you know all these surprise attacks i get <laughs> I do. it's very often <laughs> you never know guy <laughs> seriously but uh I, I mean obviously do it for competition wise but it's um uh, for me over time your strength isn't going to win my technique eventually will and that's what I, the philosophy i go in even if you know, I've been annihilated for <laughs> pretty much three years straight, just getting smashed, but it's because of that I've learned how to deal with it and how to work it to my advantage, I guess. Hmm. So, I I prefer it, though I do love my ladies, Mel, Jen, Terry. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of creepy. <laughs> You're so like mine. <laughs> you are mine. Don't you ever leave me. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get rid of my wife. Good. She's, She's freaking mine. obsessed. Good. She's never going anywhere. Yeah, no. Her <laughs> She's soul, moving in. Her <laughs> she hasn't mentioned it yet, but she's moving in. <laughs> she loves your cat, so I can Ow. see it happening. <laughs> I, I got a few pussies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most people you see, you know, thinking through a very intelligent thought. Not me. Not her. <laughs> she's thinking of like, 
Oh, wait, this isn't crude enough. Let me go down a level. <laughs> Let's get it as low as we can get, boys. Let's bury this in the dirt. That's right, come denominator. Well, you're sitting with them, so I mean, it's yeah, all good. You're, you're, you're not looking at much higher over here, so. Oh, Jesus. Where are your questions, Paul? You're uh, supposed to be prepared. I'm. This is fun. I'm, I'm enjoying this. If I just let well, her as talk. as am I, but. It's more, it's more fun if I just let her talk. <laughs> but see, I get nervous. Nah. <laughs> then I have to think of things. Let <laughs> <laughs> me breathe heavily again. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly what people tune in for. <laughs> My name is Morgan. I'm here to talk about jujitsu. <laughs> uh, geez. <laughs> so, so when you, typically you roll with a bunch of men. And I, I get you got the uh, the female only class and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, but when you go to a, um, a boys' school, if you will, do you have to work harder to earn the same respect? Do you think, or do you think that's kind of done with? Like, there's no more stigma to that anymore. Well, there's always that stigma, no matter what, because it's just society in general. But being a wilder too in my life, I come across this same aspect, and I've always said. My action speaks louder than my words, so I can sit there and talk all the game I want, but unless I can prove it, it doesn't mean anything. And most guys aren't aware of your capability until you prove it to them. You can sit there and be like, I am great at triangles, and I am birds, and I am just the best. But until I put them in a triangle, then they're like, oh, yeah, maybe she is good at triangles. It's Yeah, I'm going to go with the, I was scared of you from day one, <laughs> and not even shitting you. <laughs> it's because I already had your show. <laughs> <laughs> I you thought can... I got cold when I walked in. <laughs> Oh, it feels like something's leaving my body. What's going on? What's going on? I'm just standing there. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Gone. Mine for so, life. So why are the ginger lose her eyes? I can't see them. <laughs> so I, I think since being a welder my whole life and having to deal with that kind of aspect, it's kind of the same thing with jujitsu. Um, I think it's a good realization not only for women that they are capable of a lot more, but also realization to men that women are capable of a lot more than what they thought. And I think that realization is really important for guys to understand that just because you can bench press like 200 pounds doesn't mean you're strong. Uh, 300, to do lady. Oh, sorry. 300, you say? Yeah, 350, bitches. 300, <laughs> 300 of what? Ants? Oh, oh, I was thinking 10 years. I was thinking 10 years ago. My ounces, bad. Uh, ounces, right? Ounces. <laughs> ounces, ounces. Dude, is it cool if I... Uh, show people that 10 years ago picture that you have oh please no. yes. the sweet one with yes. the wife beater no. and the bucket hat no. <laughs> oh <laughs> yeah no. posters oh, no. posters oh yeah next i think seminar. posters need to happen next no no seminar. Let's, let's, paul's putting on a seminar next class. <laughs> <laughs> you mean right next to Corther's <laughs> little kid photo we love that bow tie by the way Corther. it suits you well we should just all find like the douchiest picture of ourselves and like post them up i had a wall. bowl cut and um i wore mickey mouse shirts every day Every day. <laughs> <laughs> I had a whale on my shirt. Uh, yeah. Just the whale. That's all I had. Just the whale. <laughs> One shirt, guys. One shirt, Kip's guys. life. Sad whale. story. <laughs> <laughs> I had a wife beater and a do-rag. <laughs> it was awful. I'm pretty sure the one with the bucket bucket hat. The bucket hat. No, nobody's seeing that. You sound so badass. You say bucket hat. I think it was just <laughs> yeah. Jean-Claude Van Damme just kicking ass. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That was me too. He was my hero growing up. <laughs> like it was Bruce Lee, then Jean Claude Van Damme. Like he was close second. I just puked in my mouth. <laughs> but, but his splits were hot. You got to admit that. Yeah, that bulge. <laughs> <laughs> that bulge, though. <laughs> Kip was looking at me like. He's like, I don't get it. What's a bulge? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't have one of those. <laughs> Wait, slow down. You got to go back. I don't get it. <laughs> Are, I, I know more about a Ken doll. <laughs> Ken Is that more accurate? <laughs> <laughs> no? Yeah, that's hilarious. That's good. I, my imagination's too good for this. <laughs> oh, let's be honest. You're too good for this show. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll tone it down. PG-13, guys. Oh, Jesus. PG-13. <laughs> PG-13. If you in a country <laughs> rainbow <laughs> now. <laughs> Coming out of your ass. Let's go. And your clit. Clit smasher. Oh, hey! <laughs> that's my wife. <laughs> that's her nickname because that's what she does. She smashes clits. <laughs> this way we're a couple over mine. <laughs> Yours is huge. There's no hard. Just ruined it. Uh, uh, take that back. I, I, I don't know what I was going to say. I had to come back and it just left me. Wait a second. Nope, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> just, oh, breaks. Breaks. Oh, God. I think I can smell your brain burning. Uh, and, and, and now I'm sweating That's just again. the gas leaving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh, Jesus. So, kids class. Yeah. <laughs> 
So, so the difference between uh, the boys and girls in the kids' class, I think you were saying something similar about teaching boys that you're not as tough as you think you are. Yeah, it's and, same concept. And girls that you're way stronger than you think you are. Mm-hmm. It's uh, little boys. I mean, like I said, society as a whole teaches them that they're invincible and that girls are weak and... There's nothing like watching your daughter rear naked and choking <laughs> a little boy and watching their eyes like pop out of their head like what do I do? <laughs> you tap, honey. You tap. Exactly. It's a uh, it's a good realization, especially when they're young, and hopefully it will change them to help change the future of that generation. That women are are more than just little pretty things, but strong, you know, resilient people that can do just as much as a man. Amen. Believe it Absolutely. or not, we are capable. That's right. That's bullshit. <laughs> Lies! <laughs> it's fucking bullshit. Women are weak. And make, make me a sandwich. <laughs> Damn it, you got to do it. Right. <laughs> I'm hungry, Morgan. This is interview's over. It's just me and Kip now. Hey, hey Morgan. Hey, well, Kip and I talk. Can you go grab us a beer, honey? <laughs> <laughs> I'll grab you something. It may be an appendage. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you're going to try to kill by everybody. <laughs> Carla's going to kill me. Chad's going to kill me. No, Carla's just going to break your potty slowly. One he's, piece at a time. No, he's not going to kill you, sweetie. He's going to make you wish you were dead. He's going to torture you. I'm you in the belly for a good five seconds and crush your whatever's left of your soul. Uh, he he knows I'm already broke, right? <laughs> <laughs> He'll make sure you're not like a huge body cast. <laughs> and then he gets, he's, and he's like, and he <laughs> signs it right on the face. <laughs> yeah, I got a huge body cast. He signs my forehead. You still <laughs> come to, yeah, exactly. You still come to class. I'm right, I, can, I can do it, I guys. got this, guys. I can do hip throws still. <laughs> the, the cool thing is, is that's actually true. <laughs> it's you, actually true. You're, you're sitting with the two dumbest people in class. <laughs> we are broken every week, and we're like, no, I'm fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. I don't, I don't need to feel anything. It's all right. My neck spasm two seconds after a throw, three minutes into the class. I'm like, hey, I'm good. <laughs> Let's keep going. You got to be like me and just kill all your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> die. Die nerves die. Your, your competition stuff. Like how much do the competitions mean to you? Because you do them all the time. Uh, they mean quite a bit. Um, I try to take, I guess, my career as much as it is seriously as I can with what I have left. Um, I guess it's the only time you get a real kind of actuality situation where you can, you know, go 100% and really try to go for submissions. Maybe you want to do it to a teammate because you right. like them and you want to hurt them. <laughs> But What's your problem with me then? God damn it. <laughs> How you just so give me your fucking arm. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. Uh, I just, uh, competitions in general, just, I've always had a big fear of being in front of people. I'm very antisocial, so stepping out in the mats was a big thing. <laughs> Good and, thing you're on a podcast. Yeah. No people here. Well, so no far, there's only three here. people to see. <laughs> I can handle that. I'll just never listen to it again. <laughs> but um, it helps me a lot. It's not. You know, I, I do it for the team to a certain extent and Chad and Kroiler to help represent our name and kind of get us out there. But for me, it's overcoming a lot of my own fears and things that I have to deal with because it's more mental than it is anything. Telling yourself that you don't suck and it doesn't matter if you lose and trying not to vomit <laughs> in front of everyone. I was going to say, it once, <laughs> only once. she's only failed once at keeping that in. Uh, I, just, I just forgot to breathe, you know, small little details. <laughs> right. But, but I won. <laughs> <laughs> I choked her out, and then I was the one that put <laughs> Put my legs in the air. Who won? You did. She was um, very confused. Did. She's like, wait, I, 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 ch- I tapped, right? Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, yes. yes, you did. Yes. <laughs> Let me puke in front of the most spectators that have ever watched me fight before in my life right nice. now. And then they all stood there and stared at me. And then a little kid ran through the vomit and <laughs> fell. It was, <laughs> <laughs> it was good times. It was, it was a party. It's a crowning <laughs> achievement. For I party. earned that gold, goddamn. <laughs> it's mine. I think the best part of that is a kid running through the vomit. <laughs> it really is. Yeah, well, the facial expression was pretty priceless. The, the slowly, like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's mine. That's a lot of pre workout. <laughs> you're going to be jacked in like five seconds. <laughs> Absorbs right through that skin. <laughs> Uh, oh. s- sadly, I had one of my kids step through my puke after I drank a little bit too much the day before I puked in the driveway, and my kid stepped in it. What is that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, uh, that's from the uh, sky. <laughs> your tail in one little bird spot. shit. <laughs> it's a dad, big bird. <laughs> it's actually your dad's sadness. <laughs> Spewed all over the all over the floor. <laughs> he, can't, he had two beers, too. Two <laughs> beers. 
<laughs> if you make they, him drink well, hey, two they beers, were he I, probably would. It was an IPA. You give me a half IPA. I'm going to throw that up all over the place. It's past nine o'clock, too. It was past his bed. <laughs> <laughs> so hurtful. And yet so true. And so accurate. Oh, God, I hate the it. accuracy. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, I hate all you. I hate you. You love us. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So do you think kids should do more competitions, or do you think that's not a big deal when you're a, when you're a child? Uh, I think it's huge as a kid. Personally, the idea of uh, for kids of somebody being bad or attacking you or assaulting you is a concept that, thank God, most of them have no idea what it's about. So the actuality of what they're learning doesn't really hit them as hard because unless they have somebody attacking them, it's kind of hard to relate to what we're talking about. Competitions are the one way to help them kind of understand that reality that there's bad people and bad people that will hurt you and you might have to get out of that kind of situation. So I try to get kids to compete obviously i want them to do what's best for them but i feel it's good for them just because it gets your adrenaline pumping it makes you panic it scares the living shit out of you because i remember my first one and i was ter- yeah. terrified but you get over it and you realize you're strong that you made it through it and that you can refocus on how to make yourself better and that way if you ever come across a situation <clears throat> like that in the future you can be safe, and you can break motherfuckers' arms. Nice. Do you, well, do you think even if you get your ass kicked, it's a good experience just Hell to have that? yeah. I've got my ass beat a lot. <laughs> it's the best way to learn. If you have flaws in your game, competitions is the fastest way to figure it out. Because, uh, well, I had one competition. I got armbarred twice the exact same way. <laughs> nice. I was in some girl's guard, and they both broke me down, and they both armbarred me the exact same way. So when I got back, I was like, I think I might need to work in my guard. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have never known because every gym's different. How they teach things are differently. How they do things are differently. So until you come across it, you really have no idea. My last competition, I went against a girl that was a lot stronger, a lot taller than me. And I would thought, you know, dealing with the guys, I'd be fine. But her weight's different. Where her weight's di- mm. distributed is different. So I actually struggled quite significantly, and she ended up beating me five times because yeah. <laughs> it was just me and her in multiple divisions. <laughs> nice. But it helped me alter my game to make it better because I will come across somebody like her again. So Or her again. Exactly. Be like, so. now what? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I'm not going to... She was a great competitor. <clears throat> she was real tough, and I would actually be really honored to go against her again because I think we got a good little rivalry, but also a good friendship going too. So oh, I like fun. that kind of stuff. Yeah, that yeah. picture of you guys like in I don't know standing next to each mm-hmm. other was awesome. It's like, oh, oh look, make- you beat the shit out of <laughs> each other for five different matches or whatever. <laughs> I have best still friends. friends. <laughs> I find most girls are like that after a competition. The guys usually have so many people in their divisions that they don't don't really care. When you have to go through 10 people, I can understand you have m- so many. Or the women, there's literally, like I said, it was Just her and me. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So we have the camaraderie because we both understand kind of what you have to go through to get there. The fact that you're mostly all men that you have to train with so yeah, there's a lot of respect i have yet to come across an opponent where i'm like well she was a bitch so, <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing because women more than ever now need to band together to kind of realize that we aren't sign class citizens like we've been led to believe and that we're we're much more powerful together than we are separated even if it means a girl beating the shit out of me for like good three hours it was worth it because not only did I gain a friendship, I also learned something and I can better myself, which in the long run is what I'm, that's all I'm trying to do. That's I'll right. never be number one. Yes, you my, will. I, I like You're number daydream. one in my book. <laughs> yes, all I've ever <laughs> wanted right here. Her life goal. Dreams come been. true. Yay. Bucket list check. <laughs> <laughs> I can die happy now. Yeah, bucket list over. Release the souls. <laughs> <laughs> so you're encouraging more women to do competitions. I'm encouraging women just to go into self-defense in general. Obviously, there's bogus self-defense, which pisses me off. But I just want women to realize that just because some big, strong guys coming after you don't mean anything. You can be big and strong all you want, but I can still hip throw your ass to the ground. And if you have no idea how to fight, it's even easier to fuck with <laughs> <if> you. <want. laughs> so let me ask you this. There's there's always self decline uh, so <laughs> Gotcha. Hold on. I'll say it right. <laughs> He's gonna get it. Don't worry. <laughs> wait, wait for it. I got cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> so self defense classes. You know, it's like a 
one class or two classes, do you think those do any good at all? Or do you think a woman needs to train for a period of time before she can successfully defend herself? Well, statistically showing <laughs> that if you even remotely look or act like you know what you're doing, it's enough usually to deter most attacks. Um, I Even if you came once a week, just getting getting it in your head that you're able to do this kind of stuff is usually the hardest part for people to overcome. Because most of the time the hindrance isn't your actual physical aspect. It's actually just your mind saying, no, you can't do this. No, you can't do this. That's no, you can't do this. That's a good point. Yeah. And like I have a couple students that only do come once a week. There's two girls in my all women's class. They're one's 15, one's 16, and they come in and I show them a little self defense and I show them some competitive jujitsu stuff. And it's more, you know, I always tell them that in case something ever happened, if you only remember this one move, but it's the one move that gets you out of it, that's that's that, well that's, worth yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because I want women to be safe. I want them to realize their strength within themselves and that class, even if you come once a week, once a month, it just helps reiterate that point over and over again. Obviously, I want women to come every day yes. for two, three hours a day, <laughs> training extra, <laughs> but I'll take what I can get and I will help any woman along her journey to help her realize that or help her figure out how to get to where she wants to be. Yeah. yeah I a, like a, lot of, a lot of predators, if you fight back at all, stop oh yeah and i think if more women realized or knew something and fighting yeah. back isn't flailing no you, you know what i mean you can't just slap her <laughs> i'm gonna claw your face well i'm not gonna let you and there you go well, well you, to be fair surprised. flailing is better than nothing oh hell like, yes if, if they but a lot of people freeze yeah. up because they right. don't have the confidence and right. have any training whatsoever so they can't fall back to shit right. yeah exactly. so it's fall back to sit there and dangerous well and the other hard part about being a woman is a lot of times your attacker is somebody you know so yeah. statistically it's been shown that it's more likely you know the person than you don't know the person which is the scarier part so i like to show the women moves that not only can they immobilize somebody maybe just put them down put them to sleep but i also show them if you wanted to actually like kill them because there is a difference if you know somebody that, that's attacking you you might not want to you know stab them to death or shoot them in the face right. even though what they're doing <laughs> is bad to make that kind of decision is quite a profound decision right. to make. So yeah. why not give them the skills to do either or? I yeah, mean, it can be for, like a predator or like a drunk uncle. So <laughs> you don't want to kill your drunk uncle. You just want to like put him to sleep. Exactly. Yeah, depending like, on the uncle. Like you guys, it's I'd want to snap your necks. But yes, I, <laughs> and why else? shouldn't you? It doesn't get any creepier than Kippen. <laughs> No, this table couldn't be big enough. <laughs> <laughs> we want to keep you as she, far away as did, possible. She did ask to be in another room. I was like, I'm <laughs> sorry, I don't have a long enough In court. the dark in the corner. <laughs> can, we, can we do this via Skype? I don't want to be near you. I feel dirty, and I just got here. Actually, your house looks like a magazine. <laughs> <laughs> you like the cotton candy all over the walls? Isn't it pretty? It's like as clean as my house was one time a long time ago. <laughs> This Corey was coming over. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Corey, look, it's like this all the time, I promise. It smells this good, too, I swear. <laughs> is that is that Febreze? <laughs> yes. <I love> yes. <laughs> this is all it always smells. <laughs> Don't just ignore my flailing hands. Yes. That butthole ball smell, yeah, that's just the back kind of <laughs> smell. Don't worry about The cat that. is sick. It's fine. <laughs> normal. It's normal. Uh, oh. So you mentioned earlier that... Uh, you don't mind if boys roll really tough and, and smash you. Yeah. But do all women feel that way or do you think they should feel that way or do you think it's kind of individual? It took me a long time to get there. Uh, it was really frustrating at first because it's demoralizing. It makes you feel weak, makes you want to give up, makes you feel like you can't do anything. But once you push past those boundaries, which most of the time for women, men have their own boundaries, but women, they have those boundaries. Once you push past those and realize that I can't finally gets out of your head and I can, and you start realizing the technique and using it to your advantage, that's when jujitsu starts getting fun. Being smashed is just the reality of things. A guy that's 60 pounds heavier than me, muscular, more than likely is going to usually be able to get me in a position where I'm pretty well smashed <clears throat> into the ground. But there's going to come a point where he's going to move and he's going to let off his weight and I'm going to use that to my advantage. It's all about realizing those situations, but until you're in them, until you learn to get comfortable in uncomfortable places, it's really hard for you to comprehend that. And that's what I like to do. I like to get in the most uncomfortable position ever. 
Det er på mig. <laughs> Nej, jeg er min k- <laughs> <laughs> Take it back, take it back. <laughs> bring it back, man. <laughs> Reel it in. No, breaks. Oh, breaks. it's going away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I love you. Yeah, I, love um, you I like to do that just because if I can... You know, a lot of times when people get to mount, they smother you, they put their chest in your face and make it so it's hard for you to breathe. When I first started, I would just sit there and learn how to breathe and be comfortable mm-hmm. because until I could focus my brain, I couldn't focus on my technique. So it has its advantages and it has its frustrations, just like anything with jujitsu. And there will always be times where the smasher wins because I'm, you know, I'm only in for a straight blue belt, not 75 stripe. Okay, I'm not that old. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Blind bitch. She's like, a, she's like at least a I five or six time. stripe blue belt. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Mom. <laughs> uh, so how, n- now that you have, uh, like, brand new white belt ladies underneath your tutelage. My wife. <laughs> right. I love them. <laughs> how, would, how, would you, how would you coach the other men to roll with them, to keep them Ooh, interested in That's a good question. Because my wife has a few issues. Yeah, it's you as a woman, no matter what you do or say to the guys, there's always going to be a guy that has an ego and wants to win and wants to prove something. There's nothing That's you can me. do about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're such an bitch. egotistical <laughs> dick. God damn it, kid. I hate rolling with you. It's so terrible. I mean, at some point, if I'm losing, I just punch them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I checked their oil, so... I just, I just <laughs> go fucking <laughs> cry. to let go. <laughs> boop, boop. Yep, he's Thanks. good. <laughs> the mission is gone. I am gold. <laughs> um, I forgot the question. How would you coach uh, a man to roll with uh, newer white belt women? Um, You know, in all honesty, is not to smash them down to let them transition to move. It's just like with any white belt, even a white belt guy, because... Um, to say every woman's going to come in and be all gentle and be like, oh, I'm, well, there's some women that come in and are super aggressive too. So really it's We're getting... looking at you, Mel. <laughs> She's crazy. She... she... <laughs> oh I did a sweep on her. She said that and then just giggled the whole rest of the role. favorite thing in the world. It makes... It just kills me, but... It's for guys, it's, you know, like any new person, let them get things, move around, have goals. Like for me, when I roll with a brand new person, my goal is to see if I can move around them. Can I transition easily? Can I get to where I want to be without having any hold up? If I have a hold up, what is it? Because obviously if they're brand new, I should be able to move around them quite easily. My goal is not to submit them. My goal is not to smash them down and be like, yes, I am number one. (laughs) (laughs) Because unless they get better... Uh, you know, don't break your toys. If they don't get better, I can't get better. It's, oh. a, it's a gift to oh, me. Kind of. Or don't, her toys. Don't break her toys. Hey, or toys. <laughs> well, I break you guys. <laughs> <laughs> why does it? Yeah, why does everyone say little... that? Yeah. Like yeah. everybody's like, oh, I, I love everyone there. I'll fuck you guys up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, shit. I think it's all. It's all like the the, the knee pads and the elbow pads. You're, like, you're already glued together in yeah. some way, shape, or form. So fuck it. You can't feel anything. Right? <laughs> your nerves are gone, right? You feel nothing? You're dead like me? <laughs> I'm just on the inside. <laughs> just a cold, dead heart. Oh, man. <coughs> oh, let's see. Next question. Uh, I love when he does this. Yes. When he literally goes, next question, then reads it. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, what's, your, what's your best advice for women just starting out in jiu-jitsu? Hmm. Like they come in the first day, they're. No, I'm guessing they, it's come to my school. They don't. <laughs> <laughs> Black Lion Jiu Jitsu Academy, Byron Center, Michigan. Um, <laughs> 68th Street, uh, 131. Come. Right play, by GNC come in case play. you're looking for some protein. I promise I'll be nice. <laughs> or if you want, you know. No promises here. If you want to get away from your, you know, CrossFit, <laughs> got a great option for you. You'll look good and you'll be a badass. Um, my advice to new women are not to get discouraged. To realize that you will be a loser for a <laughs> long time. Uh, when I first started, I tapped all the time, got smitted all the time, got tossed around like a rag doll. I had bruises all over my legs. I'm making it sound so great, aren't I? I'm just really <laughs> not out it. And it. Sign on up. Yeah, it it's like terrible. No, uh, <laughs> it was really hard. But once you get past that, and the first time you like sweep somebody or you actually get them in a position that you've been wanting to try to get, it's mind blowing. Like I said, when Chad showed me a standard trap and roll. Here's a guy on top of me choking me, which to me is a position that's like, I'm dead. Yeah. Right. You know, I might yeah. as well give up. I'm going to die because there's no way. When you actually get a move like that, especially in live rolling, it just 
blows your fucking mind, really, because your whole life you've been told you can't beat a guy. You're you're weak. You're sensitive. You're, you know, that whole idea for women. It's just you got to learn how to get out of your head and stop that voice inside your head. Don't get discouraged. Realize that losing is the number one thing part of jujitsu. The more you lose, the more you're going to learn. I mean, it sounds contradictory, but it's actually very factual. The only reason I've gotten better is because I've lost so many times because I've been right. smashed so many times. And it's just getting the right mindset and knowing you're doing it for a good reason. You want to protect yourself and you want to fuck some bitches up. So <laughs> best of both worlds. Yes. Exactly. I think it's interesting because you go there to learn self-defense and then everybody whoops your ass over and over <laughs> and you're going well this isn't what I, you know um, I'm, I'm not I, defending yeah. at all this is the complete opposite of what I saw so you're, you're showing me all the ways I'm going to get my ass whipped out in the street fantastic I already knew this guy <laughs> you actually added some so it's worse <laughs> right. it's worse what are these wrist locks saying Carler? <laughs> His wrist lock. That's if you don't know real jujitsu. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, <laughs> oh no, he didn't. Oh, I am not part of that. Morgan is out of that. <laughs> Strike me out. I'm just going to text him real quick to make sure he knows I'm cool. Where are your friends? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Morgan, Morgan. It's all Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> Paul, Paul. Morgan and Kip love you. It's fine. Big hearts. <laughs> Big hearts. <laughs> Oh, God. You are not bright. I'm sweating again. This is stupid. I don't know why I keep doing it. Because <laughs> you know you're about to get your ass beat. <laughs> I got, well, hold. I got like six months before it comes up again, so maybe he'll forget. Oh, I think he'll make a special visit. Yeah, he'll make a special visit. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have Monday night class, Paul's here. <laughs> I'm on my way. Right. I go for Friday over my like, oh, shit. <laughs> Just crawl in the door, walk no right one back else. out. <laughs> nope. We lock it. No. <laughs> You're stuck. You gotta die now. <laughs> he, thre- he threatened all of us with wrist luck, so you're fucked. <laughs> Go get him. Neon belly bitches. <laughs> oh, that would absolutely destroy me. It, it really would. <laughs> if you have to fart, it pushes it right out. There's no there's no stopping it. Uh, and I always have to fart. Because <laughs> you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> God, she has listened to the show. <laughs> <laughs> she just we, knows us. Yeah. Oh, I have that. She's talked to us, son of a bitch. Only a few times. Don't get me wrong, so guys. Okay. How, how how much do you hate having Kip and I in your class? <laughs> <laughs> like how how unbelievably distracting and annoying are we? <laughs> Scale of one to ten, go. Not at all. <laughs> That's utter. That's a fucking lie. It's not okay. Let me let me speak the truth here. <laughs> You guys, are, you guys are fun. Uh, you're some of the guys that don't have egos. You roll nicely. When you roll with the new people, you're not out to be like, oh, let me show you how much better I am than you. <laughs> you're, you want to help people learn. You, you guys are fun. You laugh. Sometimes you're fucking annoying. But <laughs> Is that I, when you call us girls? Girl, no, that's when <laughs> I say Why you guys being girlies? Kip or doodle. Oh, yeah, I have or, heard that shit. I'm like, oh, long stacking. <laughs> I can't believe you can give me a stern voice with Kipper Doodle. Kipper Doodle. <laughs> oh, shit. Kipper Doodle. <laughs> Great. The ragers out there. Uh, <laughs> look at you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Jesus. This is horrible. Yeah. It, it, we got to be annoying. Not, not really. If all the annoying people that go to the school, which there's so many. No, I'm joking. I love all of you so much. Who's Who do you hate the most? Uh, let's see. His name's Paul. No. Uh, no. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. She said the right name. <laughs> she said the right name. <laughs> I'm not in it. No. <laughs> there's not anyone I dislike. Uh, there's more people I like rolling with others. But Adam sucks. That dude's an asshole. Yeah, that Adam. Yeah. God damn it, Adam. Fucking Why can't asshole. Why you be cool one time? Just you one know, time, bro. You said <laughs> Adam, and my mind went blank. I was like, who? Part-timer? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That, guy. <laughs> that guy that showed up to help and he left. He shows up like once a month. I know. Who? I, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> Adam. <laughs> he, he's another fun one. He's uh, getting really good, too. Fucker. Yeah. I hate when he learns new stuff. I'm like, wait a second. When did you learn this? <laughs> who showed you this? No. <laughs> so yeah, how did you, you learn that, that on the farm, you fucker? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Quit wrestling those cows. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> Moo. He likes a good udder. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> like me, a sexy udder. <laughs> <laughs> he mocks that good. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Our tangents are much dirtier with yeah, yeah, yeah. show. It's just my mindset. <laughs> I've been around boys too long. Being a welder gets you kind of fucked up in the brain. <laughs> uh, Morgan, we're professional on the show. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
super professional at all times. Let's uh, get serious, guys. <clears throat> we rank like 905th in the amateur in sports, <laughs> so kind of a big deal. Oh my God. <laughs> I didn't know it I was in presence of God. <laughs> <laughs> at least, at least one person's listening. <laughs> one whole person. Let's it's, hope it's not Croyler it for the, the next yeah. three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> just someone in a coma, half a person. <laughs> <laughs> he seems to oh, react no. to your utter shit. <laughs> that was terrible. If uh, oh no! People we'll, listen we'll, right now. Tell me this is not we'll, life. We'll for oh sure delete God. that. <laughs> No, we won't. Everybody. I love everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! So I don't, I don't know why I keep whispering. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'll make it hard to hear. It's the other ginger trying like to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Morgan! <laughs> it's Monster Morgan. <laughs> Uh, it's Ginger Smash. Uh, monster, uh, ginger your name has been taken. You're no longer the monster. Yep. Yeah. I'm Monster Morgan. <laughs> Quick right, here, everyone's going to call me by. I'm the monster, nobody else. That's right, Trevor. <laughs> Suck it, Trevor. That shirt is mine. Mine. <laughs> so uh, when you were growing up, did you do any other sports? I did like everything. I was one of those indecisive kids that was like, soccer, hockey, basketball, volleyball. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I had no idea who I was pretty much ever. Nice. Did that help you with your jiu-jitsu at all or not really? Mm, there's nothing that can really prepare you for jiu-jitsu because it's just a whole other realm. I mean, <laughs> it's not every day I got some guy just sitting north-south on my fucking face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just like, this is totally normal. I mean, there's not many contact sports that are that kind of contact you, you never ended up in north south on the volleyball team i find no, that hard to believe i know it's, it's crazy i mean right it's after a common you, position right after you bump set just come north south north south after the bump set all right all right steven you just rust your nut sack right on your face <laughs> <laughs> yep that's how you do volleyball right there yeah, no. no, it's not called teabagging. <laughs> Fuck up. It's volleyball. <laughs> this is normal. This is normal volleyball. I don't know what your problem is. So yeah, no, no sport prepares you for that. <laughs> to, to nut sacks resting on your legs or butts in your face or any of that. It's kind of spit, sweat, blood. I mean, pubes. Gotta love those. Yeah. Right in your teeth. That's my favorite when guys just wear the cup and no underwear. <laughs> <It's> my favorite. <laughs> Just the jack strap. So, so you go. do you want to give a plea for all the men out there to please wear a rash guard? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, it depends how hairy your fucking chest is. Well, I mean, I manscape, but I still wear the rash guard. <laughs> I wear a rash guard just because I'm a girl and it mm-hmm. scratches on my shoulders. Uh, I like it because it's it, soft. It depends your rank, because <laughs> I'm not going to tell Chad to put on a rash guard, though sometimes I wish he would. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't listen to this. It's okay. You can tell he him. Did, he does get quite slick. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> slick. <laughs> like a ship and slide. Yeah, also looking at you, Adam. Sweet. <laughs> we could buy you a rash guard. <laughs> you fucking farmer. Here, wear this motherfucker. <laughs> He all pulls it open like he's standing in front of a fucking, like, fan. Oh. Like he's trying to be a fucking You're in the roll now. So, uh, I'm gonna take some hot pictures on the farm and so come fuck you up. So here. <laughs> Hi, Adam. We should make him do a photo shoot for, like, a calendar. Now she <laughs> touches your gear on it and then just open it up a little Ooh, bit more I every month. I in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she I just mean, touched my foot. She just touched my foot. I calm fucking... Calm down. Everyone fucking does calm, that to me. Calm down. I just can't. Relax. I can't. I didn't know he had such a foot thing. I don't. Finish. It's just here. It's holds for life for you. <laughs> <laughs> Stop <it. laughs> Every I'm day. Gonna, I'm, I'm just keep touching your foot now. I'm going to find it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> looking for it. Where the fuck is your foot? <coughs> Why isn't Morgan let talk let for a minute? <laughs> She's underneath the table. I'm just going to touch. <laughs> <laughs> She's bored with this conversation. She's like, oh my God. Morgan, out. I'm playing with feet now. I've moved on. <laughs> so I want. I want to talk about one more thing. Yoga. Okay. You still do yoga? Not really. <laughs> ah. Every once in a while, I want to, but it gets in the way of jujitsu. <laughs> <laughs> See, I, I was going to mention how it helped to jujitsu. It potentially. does. It does a lot, quite frankly, especially when I dislocated my shoulder um, like two years ago because some guy with a big old eagle came in and smashed me down, and dislocated it for me because he was super cool like that. Men suck. Yeah, he didn't even say he was sorry. I hope he fucking dies. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um. What was the question? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yoga, how's it help? Oh, yeah. That's it. There we Jeez, go. Sorry. <laughs> I forget sometimes. Uh, yoga does help. Uh, the last um, BJJ camp I went to, they had yoga in the seminar. Um, and it actually helped out quite a bit. I was surprised. 
And if I'm assuming if you did it regularly, it'd probably be very beneficial. But like I said, usually yoga's in the way of jujitsu. <laughs> so jujitsu trumps all. Yeah, when you do it like five and seven days a week, then yoga's hard to fit that in, I imagine. Yeah, just but, a little bit. There's one class I go to, but by then I'm usually, it's on Sunday and I'm tired and lazy and I don't want yeah. to I don't want to stretch. Just I'm hoping it. to get yoga certification sometime in the future just so I can do it myself <laughs> and then teach other people too. You know what we should do? We should make a video because every yoga video I've ever seen, it's this slight little woman that can fold herself like a pretzel and she's like, this is yoga for beginners and she's doing moves I have no business doing. Like no, I can't do any that's of yoga them. for pretzels, make, you asshole. Make your knees, touch your ears. Yeah. It's really simple, guys. So, so what you need to do is you need to have like, you know, a couple of fat old assholes like Kip and I in the background, <laughs> yes. like, like failing. I'll look really good. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, well, you look good anyway. All right, but, touch your toes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wait, wait, hold on. I can't do that one already. I think he pooped himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, it'll be the best yoga video ever because you can like just bust your balls like, no, 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 honey. That's not it. <laughs> this, this, not it at all. But good try. And then you, go on to the next move. You fail. But yeah, everyone I see, like I try, like I want to do yoga. It sounds like a great idea, you know, come home and kind of unwind and mm-hmm. I can't do any of that shit. Yeah. I think it's just like jujitsu though. It takes a little time to get that flexibility. I mean, I'm flexible to an extent, but not that flexible. I just have a really flexible back. Higher. <coughs> sorry. What? I'm it's sorry. The, it's the back. Okay. <laughs> it's the only advantage I have is the flexibility of my back. And I'm just, I got lucky. I mean, I could be like some other people like Jen who can like bend her fucking elbows backwards and she's like... She's not tapping. I'm like, I'm, your arm's broke. And she's like, no, I don't feel anything. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Her wrists and her, do you notice yeah. that they go f- past parallel? Yeah, we, it's freaking creepy. Her arm and her, her forearm and her yeah, by, by. upper arm? <laughs> by, bicep. By there we go. Wow. It drops, her uh, forearm drops wow. below her bicep and it's really flipping weird. We were doing toe holds in Nogi and uh, yeah, that's, I good just, luck with that. I just, yeah, we just stopped. I'm like, this is, I'm, a, <laughs> I'm gonna rip your foot off. <laughs> I'm not feeling anything. <laughs> your foot's like in the air, you're holding it. I don't feel anything, I don't tell you. <laughs> she cheats though. She's got a pain threshold too that's far none the worst. Good to know. Good to yeah. know. Yeah. This is the woman that got a tattoo of an ant on the bottom of her toe. <laughs> She would. She and it wore off right. two weeks later. <laughs> no. Shocker, right? All right? You can get this tattoo, just don't walk for two months. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it'll the stay just fine. Going, Why the hell do you want this? It's an ant on your toe. So I can say I did it. <laughs> no, actually, they offered it. Hey, you're dumb. <laughs> would you try this? Yes. <laughs> of course my wife does it. Yeah. <laughs> certainly. I'd love to. <laughs> Oh, it's so horrible. Uh, next question. Horrible. What, do you run out of questions? No, I didn't. Yeah, exactly. How many do you guys have? All of them. We have all the questions. All the questions. <laughs> all the questions. So, I had a question. I can never leave. No, you're no. here. <laughs> you, we, got, we got like eight more minutes. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Will you stop looking at the clock? Countdown begins for Paul. She was looking at it. And I see, I see well, her like she staring is, at the clock going, stop. Yes. <laughs> stop. Stop asking questions. They're stupid. Fine, just breathe in loud yeah. enough. You won't hear them talk. <laughs> it's not a question if no, you don't no. hear it. Ah, fuckers. <laughs> oh, my God. So, a lot of people on the podcast or in general in martial so arts. Many. So many. All the three people that we have, including you. <clears throat> oh, we're to four then. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about getting bullied, and that's mm-hmm. a big reason why they uh, they do martial arts. Is that kind of why you wanted to do boxing and uh, jiu-jitsu, or was it just because you like... <sighs> You're going to make me get all like, deep and shit? Deep. We've done it to everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> where's the where's the tissues? No, I'm joking. Um, I was in an abusive relationship for a couple years, and I had no confidence, which is... That was a lot of people find surprising because I'm such a badass bitch now. No she joking. Are. Which is actually true. She like tries to blow it off and I'm like, fuck you, you beat me up every day. It's because you're a white belt. <laughs> <laughs> she does that to me and I'm a blue belt. Don't feel bad. I was, was going to say, I've seen you do it to everyone. Yeah. No, not everyone. But not- thank you. Um, it was a pretty bad situation. That's why uh, Chad's first class, me and him, the creepy situation was so significant to me because... After that class, I never talked to him again. It was the last time I ever spoke to him, saw him, period. It gave me the confidence in myself to realize that I was better than the situation I was in. 
So bullying is a very real situation. Bullying kind of makes it sound childish, but abuse in any way, because he wasn't just physically, he was really mentally and emotionally abusive, just kind of guy that like fucked with your head to an extreme extent. And it was Chad that helped me realize that I could be like, fuck you, I don't need this, I'm better than this, and it's completely changed my life. I've dropped around 50 pounds. I used to smoke a pack of cigarettes a day. I don't do that anymore. I work out all the time. I've completely transformed my life, and I won't put up with it anymore. Mm, hear me roar. <laughs> Such a badass. I love how she cannot get through a whole sentence being she's, serious. She's like, I'm going to be serious now, and then it just evolves. I want, I want people to not cry. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's there's this uh, Facebook thing going on, uh, Me Too, with yeah. the abusive relationships. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah, so... It's it's surprising I, and scary all at the it, same it is. time. It's, I can't believe how many people that I know yeah. that I didn't know yeah. that are posting that. It, it's, it's it's heartbreaking. It, it's, I, ugh, I don't even well, think about it. Well, statistically, one in four women will be assaulted in their lifetime, and that's just women that report it. So think how bad it actually. And most of them is. don't. They say most of them don't get reported because they're. Yeah, embarrassed or, or you know feel like it's their family. fault or they yeah. don't take you seriously yeah. i've yeah. Uh, had sexual harassment at work before where a guy like literally grabbed my ass all the time and they just shrug their shoulders off to it because if you don't can't really prove something they don't really care and that's the kind of mentality that our society kind of is well, you know you're just a woman get over it kind of thing and jujitsu was the first time i realized that i didn't have to put up with that shit and that i was better than that and that's why i'm so addicted to it because it's the most empowering thing i've ever done in my life really i've never had anything make me feel so strong and so confident within my own self and enough to get away from somebody like i was in a relationship with well he's a turd fucker i know who you are and i know where you live still motherfucker <laughs> How long were you in that relationship? Uh, about two years. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was, yeah. Uh, it was a really long time. I had gotten out of an... It was a bad part of my life. Just poopy all around. <laughs> but it, like I said, that's why my loyalty to Chad is so strong in the gym. is because he he rarely realizes how many lives he probably saves. And he, yeah, he does he, not. No, he does not know the significance in which he is in a lot of people's lives. And I, I've kind of told him this story. I don't really get in depth with it because it's just kind of a hard story to tell. But he's definitely at least saved my life from utter destruction because that man would have destroyed me. I would have been nothing. Mm -hmm. I would have been a fat glob on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because of, like I said, I did that one class and that's all it took. Never talked to him again. And it was because of Chad showing me a standard trap and roll. <laughs> that's incredible. Basic shit. And it blew my fucking brains. <laughs> It only, it only takes one person yeah. to change your life. It's amazing. And Chad does that almost daily because the kids look up to him. It's so funny that he is so clueless to it, honestly. It's because it speaks to his character. I hate, yeah. I try not to say nice things about Chad. Yeah, he's a as turd much fucker. as much you know, hate that. <laughs> we, fucker. we don't want him to get a big head. Now. No. Yeah, calm down, Chad. Yeah, put settle, that ego down. Chad. Yeah. <laughs> You're not that great. You're no. okay. You're no. okay. <laughs> You're a pretty average brown belt. You know <laughs> <laughs> but. But he, he really does. Like, for me, he brought me back from... I'm, I'm, I just wasn't as happy with myself. I was mm -hmm. away from sports. I played sports my whole life and didn't have anything. And he bugged me until I came in. It, it, now I have my whole freaking family there. Now you got grappling dance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this wonderful waste of time. <laughs> the real reason why you did it, isn't it, Kip? Just say it. I want to be talking on... A Tuesday. <laughs> it's, With a big yes. black mic in front of your face. <laughs> <laughs> it's normal for Kip. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, to your, to your point, like, like Chad is somebody that dedicate him, dedicates his life to jiu-jitsu and then shares with others. And he runs a full-time school. He has a full-time job. And a three full -time daughters. Yeah, three daughters. <laughs> he and has no hair, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> he used to have dreads, though. <laughs> Chaos. Yeah. Can I, we, can we, did he talk about his rapping career? He did. Oh, yes. Okay. And he's going to come back. We have a flyer. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tape somewhere. Yeah, we've heard. <laughs> We're going to find it. Oh, yeah, we he, no, he's playlist. trying. He, he said he was trying to find it for us. Mm, bullshit. <laughs> he's a liar. <laughs> he ain't no, he's no, going to find it and set it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's proud of it. Oh, God. I think he's secretly proud of it. And I was a badass guy. 
I wore the camo. It was blue. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> this is chaos in the house. <laughs> Grand rap is only acid rap. I got my Django Jing on, my wife beater. <laughs> Poor chat. We like you. You're awesome. Oh, he okay. saved many people. And I think he transforms the kids' lives on a daily basis. So, yeah. You're kind of cool. Only kind of, though. Just a little bit. No big heads. <laughs> no. No big head. <laughs> Push the microphone away on that one. <laughs> No more. Breaks. No. Breaks. People can hear you. <laughs> yeah, but like three people. Say what you want. It's cool. It's meow. <laughs> That's all I really want to do. Meow mix. Meow mix. Oh, <laughs> She's going to be on America's Got Talent next week. <laughs> doing like the Meow Mix remix. My, my deep debut right here. Meow meow. <laughs> <laughs> I need your feedback. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I need a Simon Cowell, please. <laughs> your meow is not pussy enough. <laughs> You weren't bu- you weren't selling out on your meow. Yeah. I want to be respectful and wrap this up, but I also want to keep on having <laughs> her talk in front of the mic because <laughs> it's been epic. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want to say to maybe Croiler or just in general? The in average general. Life. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. man, that's never that's his new nickname. Croiler, <laughs> <laughs> the average black belt. <laughs> what well, every black belt wants to be known as. <laughs> Twenty three years of hard work just to get that nickname. Oh, any last things? Oh God, this is like serious. Well, well, I liked your last comment about how it empowers you and how it can empower women and yeah, for sure, and how it can change lives. I, I think ending on that is. I mean, you can't end a show better than that. I think it's awesome. So if you want to speak to that anymore or anything else you want to talk about. Um, breaking down your barriers. It goes to both men and women realizing you're much more than what you've led yourself to believe. The I can'ts turn them into I can's. It's surprising how much it's just your brain telling you that you can't do something, which surprised me. Uh, Justin, one of our other instructors, Justin Andrews, you're so awesome. He's so you're, pretty. Uh, he he's is. so pretty. I haven't talked about how pretty he is oh, lately. Right. He looks like he's made man. out of marble. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like made out of marble and together. dreadlocks. He's so pretty. <laughs> My name's Justin. I'm immaculate and I'm awesome. <laughs> the best thing is... <laughs> he is, tries to be humble about it. Like, yeah. no, it's cool. You guys are just being nice. <laughs> and the whole you time with like are. the biggest ass grin, he's like, so yeah, you guys... Just, you're just saying that. It's don't smiling. stop. Don't yeah. stop. <laughs> uh, I don't, now I'm totally lost what I was going to say. Justin's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and and show. We got distracted by his hotness. Uh, no, uh, Justin helped push me past my limits. My very first class with him is the hottest day of the summer. And he's like, let's do a mile run. I haven't worked out <laughs> in like five years. I smoke this cigarettes. Just, you, you That's why I, that I love this story. I've heard it. It's wonderful. Oh, I, I decided to eat a whole bunch of strawberries before his uh, first class. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know, to give me power to get through it. <laughs> <laughs> and we go to do this mile <laughs> run. I think everyone's in front of me. At least that's what I thought. And I bent over and I just puked up all those strawberries. And I'm not oh. talking about like, oh, a nice, cute little girl puke. I'm talking about like projectile, <laughs> like exorcist <laughs> shit. And I think no one's there. And all of a sudden I feel his hand on my back and it's Justin. And he's like, yeah, get it out. Yeah, just keep going. You can do it. And I look at him I'm like, what's this? Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then I kept running because I never gave up because he kept pushing me forward. And Justin does that a lot where I think I can't get past something and somehow he gets it so I can go past it and same with Chad too things I'm like I'll never be able to do that I'll never be able to do that and then all of a sudden I'm doing it and it just kind of blows your mind that really what inhibits you is yourself more than anything else not saying we're all like superhuman and we get like fly if we wanted to <laughs> no jumping Except up for these people <laughs> You can't do everything. Why did you just pop my bubble? <laughs> I'm going to be Superman after this. I was going to fly home. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> but uh, my takeaway from jujitsu in general is I'm much more than what I thought I was and that I am, can have the confidence and not be egotistical about it. There's a big difference between the two. And I just encourage anyone that's interested, not even just jujitsu, but any aspect of your life that you want to put more into it, go full head into it. Don't don't let the naysayers or people 
that want to resist you. Don't let them get you down because there's always going to be people like that no matter what the fuck you do in your life. My whole life I've been told as a wilder, you're not going to make it. You're a woman. This is man's career. Well, fuck you, man. Look at I'm doing exactly what you do, if not better. And the same thing with jujitsu. A lot of times people have told me I'm not capable. Well, I like to prove people wrong. And She's it, certainly more capable than I am. <laughs> I mean, it's speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm horrible. That was my only goal is to be better than you. <laughs> Success. <laughs> Mission established. Man, there's been bucket list shit <laughs> all over the place. I might as well die right now. <laughs> Oh my god! So I guess that's my only takeaway is just believe in your. <laughs> do you want to? I was gonna say, do you want to sing that shit? <laughs> Reading rainbow type shit. Like, Did I tell you I I don't have video to put a fucking rainbow up right now? Well, this is bullshit! I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of horseshit podcast is this? Uh, no rainbow machine. Fuck you! I thought you were gonna just shit out rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> Real podcasts have rainbows and sponsors. We have neither. Where's my Where's my glitter too, motherfuckers? <laughs> It's with uh, the unicorn leaving. So I apologize to anybody coming on after Morgan. It's just it's just not going to be as fun. Yeah, you already sucked. Yeah, yeah, you got to talk about buttholes and clits yeah. and checking the oil. You know all the good stuff. All the stuff that's everyday life. Watch watch an, <laughs> watch the next person come on. Try too hard. <laughs> like no, you're not. No. Did you just say a knock knock no. joke? Yeah, what the you're, fuck is that? <laughs> this is going to be serious the whole time. Right? I'm not going to say anything funny ever. It's like you're, you're being disrespectful. So please stop that. <laughs> You know, we have all these average black belts and brown belts around. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they were funny, they'd have a little more than average. <laughs> so, so I think what our, our show should do for you, because you're, you're handing out compliments. Um, <laughs> Get my ass beat. Is, is, uh, yeah, it's fun. Trust me. I've done it a bunch. <laughs> so is do, do you realize that you're not weird? <laughs> Paul and I are weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally normal. I'm sitting over here talking about clit smashers and shit. All girls talk like I do. Hey, guess what? My wife's proud of that nickname. <laughs> she should be. She smashed the shit out of my clit. <laughs> <laughs> that thing fucking hurt for days. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a great guard pass. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah. oh what what is it, elbow to clit? Or what is that? Knee to clit? Yeah. Ah, much. there we go. You know, just grind it right in there. It feels good. I love it. <laughs> well played. Played, honey. Look up, look up. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Found my weak spot. <laughs> Oh, well, so the secret's bad. out, guys. So, <laughs> so if you're gonna roll with her, you know what you got to do. Smash the that was oh. terrible. Oh, oh, no. I love you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the dads at grapplingdads.com. If you have any questions about the show, check us out on Facebook, uh, Instagram for sure. Instagram, and now I'm uh, I'm an old man that's kind of figuring out Twitter by making his wife do it. If, if this show doesn't make you want to join. Black line jiu-jitsu. There's no hope for you. You're There's a just, bucket of turds. No <laughs> or, or if you're in the Indiana, northern Indiana area, Croiler. The Gracie's. average black belt. <laughs> it's an, the average white belt. You may want to learn something from him. He'll get you to a certain level. Uh, okay? Just just a disclaimer. He's not average at all. He will fucking annihilate you. <laughs> He'll fucking kill you. Yeah, yeah but with wrist locks. <laughs> they don't count. He won't even look at you the whole time and have conversations, uh, and he'll still kill you. I got so offended. I kept, like, getting in his face. <laughs> that was my whole goal, was, like, get in between the person he was hey. talking to. <laughs> you can't coach hey. them. You're rolling with hey. me. Look at me. Look at yeah, me. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I'm rolling with you. Look at my face. <laughs> Look at my eyes. <laughs> there, I do like to gaze into your eyes when we roll. <laughs> eye contact. That's where it's at. All eye contact. It only makes it gay if you make eye contact. <laughs> That's why you two look at each other all the time. It is. In each other's eyes the whole time. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hey, it's only no blinking. It's no blinking. Touch tips. <laughs> That's how you start every roll, right? Touch yeah, tips. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah. not slap and bump. Slap and bump no. Touch it's tips, touch and, tips and, and giggle. <laughs> every girl's dream come hang out. <laughs> I promise we're all this fucked up. Oh, you want to hear something interesting? No. About that? <laughs> like that's going to stop, me from, it's gonna stop me from fucking talking. Uh, Mel said I was a sweetheart. 
Yeah. She doesn't yeah. know you. Yeah, I was gonna say she doesn't know me at all, <laughs> does she? She doesn't listen to podcasts Mal, either. Huh? He's a turd fucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's bad, Paul. <laughs> she she t- yeah, he fucks my turd pen, <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> well, she she told my wife, and I was like, it's, it's not good. My wife just started laughing out loud in her face <laughs> like <laughs> oh you're serious <laughs> oh I'm sorry well that was a genuine compliment I thought it was a compl assault I, don't, I only insult him so I don't know <laughs> <laughs> and he deserves it so it's cool <laughs> he's, a, he's like an old kipper doodle yeah I'm something you are a sweetheart whether you like it or not Fuck. you on the other hand mm. you're kind of okay <laughs> <laughs> barely sometimes she, Sometimes I can stand you. She told me it was a fun role. My head got swelled. I'm like, whoa! I don't, likes I don't know. I don't know what needs to be. <laughs> um, I don't remember that happening. Kip's uh, mad now. He's jealous. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? You're a fun role. Fuck you. <laughs> We're no longer turd fuckers. I hate yeah. you. <laughs> no tips for you. Oh, no. It's all a dream. She had it in one moment. All right. You um, ready? Yep. Share it with friends. Make sure your friends listen to it. It's a good compliment. God. I will never listen to this. <laughs> Any feedback you want to give us, please yeah, like, give it. Why do people whisper into the mic? <laughs> <laughs> Why'd she whisper? I don't know what she said. Nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I do like how you chipped away at your, your things that you were doing. You're tapping the table, and you're like, oh, shit, I can't do I, that. Don't make noise and this morning. <laughs> and then a few minutes, then like 20 minutes later, you're like, Oh, can't do that either. She's tapping the table. <laughs> why, 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 much why, why does everything come through the headphones? It's stupid. <laughs> why does these headphones hear shit? Can everybody hear what I'm doing right now? Yes. <laughs> yes we we can, can see it too, by the way. <laughs> That's how good and clear it is. You guys are fucking disgusting. <laughs> oh, all right. Let's call it. All right. See ya. Bye, turd fuckers. Bye. <laughs>